Yesterday at Google I.O., Google announced a few new, very interesting features of Android O. And in today's video, let's take a look at them. Hey guys, Ash here from C4E Tech and let's get started. So the first feature we are going to be talking about is PIP or picture in picture. You know how with the YouTube app you get to minimize the video playing and then go search for another one? Well with Android O you should be able to do that with full apps themselves. So you could theoretically check your messages while watching Netflix in a small window or take down notes while on a duo video call. This is one feature I'm really looking forward to. Given how far the processing power of smartphones have come in the last few years, this seems to be a logical step forwards with regards to multitasking. Next up, we've got notification badges. With Android O, we are going to be getting badges on app icons just like you'd get on an iOS device but you don't get the notification count here. So with display sizes growing rapidly, pulling down the notification bar is indeed getting quite cumbersome. More often than not, it's a two-hand gesture or at least needs quite a bit of maneuvering. So now, with Android O, you can just long press the app with a notification badge to quickly see the notification it's showing. We then have Project Treble that should speed up the update process a bit by making Android more modular. I have a dedicated video on that, I'll be leaving a card to it here, check it out for more information. Then we have Google Play Protect. Google scans apps, even those that aren't downloaded from the Play Store for improved security. This is something Google already does. With Google Play Protect, Google is just going to be making it a lot more visible moving forwards. Talking about moving forwards, copy and paste is also improving. When you select something like a phone number or an address, when you double tap, with Android O, you should be able to select the entire group. So your days of selecting just one word and then struggling with the handles, they should be over. Additionally, you'd also be getting a pop-up with relevant app suggestions like, like Maps if you selected an address or a dialer if you selected a phone number. While not a major change, this should improve the overall user experience. While we're on the topic of text, Google's also bringing autofill to apps. So if you usually log in to Twitter via Chrome, you'd get autofill options in the Twitter app too. Cool. Then there are quite a few others including a yet again streamlined menu, adaptive icons, improved battery life and boot times, better overall speed and smoothness of apps, and oh yeah, an Android Go option for phones with 512 megs to 1 gig of RAM. So that's it for a quick look at Android O's new features that were announced yesterday at Google I.O. Hope you found this video informational. If you didn't, feel free to vote it down. But if you did, please give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't already. If you have already subscribed, hit that bell icon to make sure you get notified each time a new video goes live here on C4E Tech. That's it for now. Thanks a lot for watching. Till next time, this here is Ash. You've been watching C4E Tech and I'm signing off for now. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye now.